Minnesota Fighting Viking superstar defensive end Daniil The Real Deal Hunter revised his contract a few weeks ago before the start of mandatory minicamp. And like every contract in the NFL, it takes days, weeks, months, even years. I'll be there for you to get the full final details of the stupid contracts ben gasling star tribune hopefully has the final details of it full terms for daniel hunter's restructure 5.6 million dollar rooster bonus this year is treated as signing bonus adds two void years 2024 and 2025 2021 cap hit drops to 13.37 saves the vikings 3.88 million uh, it was at 17.15 million 7.1 million dollar 2021 base salary fully guaranteed if 18 million dollar rooster bonus hits 2022 cap is 26.12 million vikings can convert to signing bonus or do a new deal and the main thing is that the void years lower the cap hit even more and treating the roster bonus as a signing bonus allows them to spread out the cap hit over five years and the 18 million dollar roster bonus due on the fifth day of the new league year in 2022 basically the vikings either have to pay daniel 25 plus million the 18 million dollar roster bonus plus his 7.1 million dollar fully guaranteed base salary for 2022 or cut him or trade him so it's a great deal for daniel who still had three years left on his contract and essentially if you have three years left on your deal the team easily could have been like well you play for us you sign the contract or you play nowhere else but now his contract essentially becomes a one-year deal or he gets 25 million bucks which is a top tier of the edge rusher money next year in a de facto franchise tag and the vikings of course actually save cap space because rob brzezinski done did it again and it is a great move by the vikings because knock on all the wood god forbid if daniel is not daniel they don't lose anything they, they don't, but it, it was a, it was a great gesture, a sign of good faith by the Vikings to give Daniil an inch here. You don't have to win every single negotiation by TKO. They could have easily, like we said, big-footed his contract, be like, hey, you play here, or you play nowhere else, or whatever, but they actually gave him an extra 600000 in a signing bonus as a token of good faith, plus he gets out of his contract two years earlier than he would have uh, on its surface, so now Daniil, once he goes out and puts up 100 pressures and 20 sacks, he's going to get pa 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 pay in 2022 uh, in the offseason at only 27 years young by the way because like we said either the Vikings pay him 25 million bucks for next season or they cut him or they trade him or they extend him long time at which hopefully it's going to be the latter keep Daniil in purple he's still going to be a first ballot hall of famer pay Daniil as opposed to paid Daniil asterisk nah. uh, but your thoughts the full hopefully final details of Daniel Hunter's contract are in let us know in the comments section below subscribe for daily Vikings takes want to support that work post on the Venmo but until next time Skull Production Value <laughs>